Hello my lovelies and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. So today you guys I have another haul video to share with y'all and of course you would have seen in the title, the thumbnail, all that kind of good fun stuff. The today's haul is a Halloween themed Timu haul. Say what you will about Timu, their stuff is pretty good, their stuff is pretty cheap, shipping's pretty quick, you know it is what it is. But anyway let's not beat around the bush and get straight on into this haul. Now actually with all of these things, I got them over sort of several weeks and I've just kind of compiled them all together from separate orders. So I'm just going to kind of dive in. The first things actually that I did get were a couple of phone cases and I got these back in like early September. So I did actually get this cutie and I really do really, really like this one. And actually the other one that I got is on my phone and it's just got this pattern on it. This one's a bit harder to show. I'll take the phone out of it. My fancy purple phone. So this is the case. It's Loki, like totally see-through, but it has the cutest little Halloween characters on there. I really, really like it. And honestly, like it's pretty flexible and it's pretty good. Like I've dropped my phone and nothing has happened to it. Same as this other one. It's just, it's pretty much the same quality, but not see-through. But there you go. If I could hold them nicely. <laughs> so they're two of the phone cases that I got and I'll pop the pricing up on the screen so that you can see kind of how much I did end up spending on these little cuties. Also I'm pretty sure that I didn't pay for shipping for any of these things so that's nice. But yeah super super happy with these and actually now that I've taken that clearish one off my phone I'll switch back to the solid chunky black one because you know it's always nice to have a little bit of a change. And then next I'll go through the hair clips. Unfortunately, I actually lost the second one of these, but I did get a pack of two of these bat wing hair clips. And I do have a photo of myself wearing it. I'll pop it up on the screen so that you guys can see. But I have worn this to work a couple of times and just kind of out and about a couple of times. I really wish I could find the other one because like what if one breaks, you know? I mean, yes, they're cheap enough. Again, I'll pop the price up on the screen for how much that I did pay for these. Future me here. So I'm actually just realizing checking the prices on the website that this was actually the price for just one clip. I don't know why I thought I had two, but uh, either way, I think I might be popping a couple extra into my cart just in case one does break or go missing again because, you know, we love a good backup system. But yeah, super good. Like, I don't have a lot of hair. It's very thin and there's really not a lot of it. And because this is kind of small, like you can kind of see, I do have small hands, but that is pretty small. It doesn't take much to hold my hair in place. And this is kind of the perfect size. So I really, really like it. And it's like, it's so subtle. I kind of had to point it out to people at work. And that's what I like about black hair accessories. And then the other thing that I got were these little hand hair clippies. They're really, really big and they don't kind of stay on my head because they're so kind of like heavy in comparison to how thin and light my hair is. But you can kind of imagine them being in my hair. I don't know, I just thought that they were a fun little thing. And also I totally thought that they were like left and right handed, but it looks like they are both the exact same hand. Yeah, they do have their solid little clips on the back there. They're really good, like sturdy clips. It's just, I don't have enough hair in order for them to stay on my head. Like maybe if I had my hair up in a bun or a ponytail or something, and then they were kind of pushed up in like the back there where the bulk of the hair was, but then what's the point? Because then only other people that are walking behind me can see them. But I want to see them for myself, you know. But anyway, I will pop up the price that I paid for these little cuties on the screen as well. But yeah, super duper cute. And I was really happy with them. It's just, unfortunately, they're not for my hair. Oh my goodness, I could put them in my husband's hair. I'm sure he'd let me do that. <laughs> now there's some packets of stickers. So I got some cute spooky stickers. I'm gonna take them out of the packet. And actually a whole bunch of these stickers and some of the earrings that I'm gonna show you later. I had to get them resent out because I got a notification that they had been delivered to my house, but there was literally nothing, not even in the other people that live in the unit. So that was not ideal. So that did take like an extra almost two weeks, but these are just some really cute. Ah, oh, I love that so much, really cute spooky kind of themed stickers. 
So there's like a candy corn, a little grave, a little owl with a witch's hat, some pumpkins, you know, the kind of just like cutesy sort of cutesy sort of aesthetic of Halloween stickers. Oh my god, there's so many. Okay, wait, wait, wait. I'm not going to show you like every single one, but there is this one in particular that I'm seeing that's a really cute little cat in a cauldron. Like, are you literally choking my chain? That is so stinking cute. So I use these as little decor items in and around like my wax melts when I'm taking pictures of them for my Instagram feed and for like the wax melt community on Facebook. So that is them. They're really cute. And now this next packet of stickers, you know, I'm not actually certain. I know that I have like horror movie stickers here. So maybe these are just kind of more spooky rather than cutesy. Let's have a look here. So we've got like this one here that is really cool. I like that there's red, there's some bats, there's a jack-o'-lantern, a kid trick-or-treating as a ghost. Oh, this is a really cool zombie, some cute cats, some spider webs. Yeah, so these ones are just more sort of like on the spookier side of things rather than being full on cutesy bootsy. Little black cat, so cute, what the heck? Also, you know what I'm forgetting is the pricing. So for the cutesy bootsies, I'll put the price up on the screen here. And then for the more sort of spooky, ooky kind of sticker pack, I'll put the price up on the screen here as well. Just gonna pop them on opposite sides of my desk so I don't forget which ones go where. There are literally so, so many. And then for this last packet, they are like horror movie icon stickers. And before I start going through them, I'll just put the price up on the screen here. So we have Chucky, good old Chuckster. Leatherface, Michael Myers, Pinhead. Oh, he would have come in handy a couple of days ago, you know? Oh, there's a clown on that one. I'm not gonna show it to the camera because that means I'll have to look at it again when I'm editing. Another Chucky, another Michael Myers, another Pinhead. We got the hockey face mask killer, another Chucky, another pinhead. Oh, there's Sam from Trick or Treat. A whole bunch of them, Frankenstein. We got good old Freddy Krueger, another Chucky. <laughs> oh, wicked, there's even the twins from The Shining. Come and play with us, Danny. So this one was always going to be a little bit of a mixed uh, basket in terms of whether or not I was going to like some of the stickers that came in here because I am actually a, oh, what is the word? I, I have a fear of clowns. There's those twins again from The Shining. Camp Crystal Lake, the OGs, Frankenstein and Dracula, etc. So that was all of the stickers. Next up, we have items of jewelry. So we got these really cute candy corn earrings. They are honestly the funniest thing. I love novelty earrings. So I'm definitely going to be wearing these to work throughout the next couple of weeks. And I'm really excited about that. They are gonna look so cute. I'm absolutely obsessed. And they've got these little stoppers on the back there, which is perfect so that they don't go flying out my ear holes at work. The next item of jewelry is this really cool little earring. This is gonna be very hard to show. Might have to put some B-roll in here. Just quickly before I show this though, this is the pricing for the little candy corns. So this is the really cute little earring. I really do not think that my camera is going to focus on that. So here is the other footage that I'll just pop over the top. And you know, I'm not sure why, but I can't seem to get the little hand off so that I could even put this into my ear. So I wonder how I'm supposed to go about that. But anyway, I thought that would actually just be really cute to put into like my tragus piercing, kind of have it like hugging the tragus. I thought that would look so cool. I'm gonna have to work out how that uh, comes apart at another time. And then this is how much the little earring costs, the little hand hugging earring. Or you know where else this would look really cool if I kind of had a piercing sort of like on the edge of my ear or like something like that. And then it could just kind of hug the, like the conch of my ear or something. That would look really cool. But yeah, super duper cute. I love it, I love it, I love it. And I'm losing my voice. I've been very sick, so. <laughs> Apologies. Next up we have this little, I don't know exactly what it is. It actually kind of low-key looks like a nipple ring, but I could make it work in one of my ear piercings, potentially my top helix up here or even the next one down. It would just kind of be really, really large having this skeleton 
hanging from my ear. But you know, maybe on actual Halloween day. Oh, okay, it does actually feel like the ball's coming off too, so that would be really good. Obviously couldn't sleep with this in my ear or anything like that. But I just think he's so cool. And here is the pricing for this little guy. He's so funny. It's just the funniest little thing. Wee! <laughs> I could have way too much fun with this. Next up is this pair of earrings with these little skulls. These I probably could wear on a more sort of day-to-day -day basis. They are so cute. And they've just kind of, they've got this sort of, wait, how do you put them on? They just kind of pull apart. There you go, it actually focused, crazy. And then obviously you put that part through your ear and then it will clip up together. Very, very nice. So it looks like you have a sort of chunky, chunky earring in your ear, but obviously the part that actually goes through is just sort of the right sort of gauge. I love them. And here is the pricing for these earrings as well, up on the screen somewhere. Now the last item of jewelry, I know so much jewelry, but like just bear with me here, is actually this little spiderweb septum ring. Also, if you've noticed my nails, I'm very sorry. I've mentioned in so many videos before, I'm a barista by trade. The coffee stains my nails. They're not actually dirty. I have washed my hands with soap. I just, it doesn't go away unless I fully, fully shower and have like shampoo all up in there and all that kind of good fun stuff. Regardless, here is the septum ring. It is so stinking cute. I'm not sure if it's gonna fit in my nose, but we can try. My husband did say that I should clean it before popping it inside my nose, but Kind of thinking I should just pop it in there. You know, maybe I'll uh, chuck some B-reel over the top of here. If I do end up putting it in my nose so that y'all can see what it looks like, wherever it is on the screen, that's how much this little cutie cost. And you know, just based on like the size of everything else, I really thought this was gonna be bigger as well. But it's cute, it's dainty, it's wonderful. I love it. And now on to the bigger items, because yes, you guys, there is more. <laughs> so I got this shelf and I'm completely obsessed. It's like a little crystal shelf. I do have a moon shaped crystal shelf that you guys would have, well, if you have been watching me for a while, you would have seen it in the background on my old set of shelves. That is now actually downstairs on our bookshelf with my crystals on it. But uh, this is the price point for this little shelf that I got. Sort of pricey, but honestly, so super duper cute. I'm completely obsessed with it. It's really sort of flimsy, but also it's really only the back that's flimsy. The rest of it does feel like it's pretty, pretty solid. Obviously I haven't put anything onto it yet, but I'm so excited to put it downstairs with my moon shaped crystal shelf with some extra little cuties on here. Love it so much. It is so my style. And now onto the very, very last item that I'm going to show in today's video. It has actually been worn and gone through the wash, so it's a bit fluffy, but it is this jumper. I'm completely obsessed with it. I love it so, so much. I got a really, really large size because I really like oversized clothing. Like I said, it's a little bit fluffy. Kind of happens when you have a very fluffy white cat, especially one that sheds as often as tofu does. But this is the jumper, you guys. I just love it. It is enormous, it is warm, it is cozy, it's comfortable, it's not too itchy. I really, really like it. And honestly, like the quality is pretty darn good, especially for the price that I paid. But anyway, that's it from me. And I, I probably don't have to mention this because I'm such a small channel, but this was not sponsored. Everything was purchased with my own money on Afterpay, but my own money nonetheless. And because I am actually losing my voice and my throat's like super, super dry, I'm gonna have to stop talking now and go ahead and end today's haul off here. I mean, I don't have anything else to show anyway. So if you liked today's video and you'd like to see more just like this from me in the very near future, then do not be afraid to go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, as well as clicking the little bell icon next to the subscribe button to be notified every single time that I upload a brand new video. And of course, you guys, if you enjoyed today's video in particular and you would like to show myself and or the channel some support, you can do so by either clicking on the like button and or by letting me know in the comments down below what you'd like to see on my channel next. Thank you all so very, very much for watching today. And as always, you guys, until next time, stay spooky. I don't know why I said that like that, but anyway.